Hello everyone, Heather here. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I have been out sick, but while I was laying in bed uh, watching Outlander, I did a little shopping, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so I picked up a couple of goodies from Stampin' Up! and Simon Says, and so I thought I would share. Um, so from Stampin' Up! I got from the demonstrator Deb Hawk from Deb Hawk's. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm butchering it, I'm so sorry. I'm so horrible. There's times where I can't even pronounce my own name. Um, Crafty Cottage. Um, I will leave her link down below. Uh, she, she is a, for this month, I think at the end of the month though, she's no longer a demonstrator, but she is a demonstrator for Stampin' Up. And so I wanted to order some things from her before she was no longer a demonstrator. Um, and she makes the cutest cards. She also has a bead uh, YouTube. And she makes some gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry. Um, so, let's see. I picked up this Honey Bee Home. Because I am madly in love with the bees. Um, and I love this flower right here. I can't tell you the name of it. I have no idea. I'm not the greatest with the flowers. Um, but it's like so such happy news. Best of luck. Um, stay wonderful. You're the nicest. So glad we're family. Miss you. So that is super cute. I like that. Good size. I like the size of the bees. Those are good. Dear Lord, you're gonna have to forgive my nails. I've been sick, so manicure is not in my. Whew, I'm too tired for that right now. And then I believe these are the dies. I got the matching dies to go with it. I think, I think, how do you open it? I have no idea how to open it. You ever had those moments where you're just literally brain frogged from being sick? That's where I'm at right now. Oh. Oh. Let's just crack it open and call it a day. I think these are the dies for this set. Nope, it's not. That goes with the other one. <laughs> All right. I can't even see. Oh, right there. See? Can't even read. Can't even read. Can't think. Can't read. This is why I'm not driving right now. Because I'm like... Okay, these are on tight, so we're just going to go ahead and get that off, so, sorry for the noise. So these are the dies for this. So let's take a look. Okay, those are cute, I like those, those are nice. I like that one too, that's a, that was a good layering. A little beast, okay, perfect. Perfect. I have a couple of an aunt and a cousin that are gardeners with me. So I gotta send them something. So I got that set. And the cat's out of the bag for this one. <laughs> so I got the, what is this one called? Uh, brood dies. So you got your, here's the stamp set to match brood for you uh, so I, I like the fact that you can layer it um uh, i owe you one or several another round for your birthday oh well, yes and so my husband's a beer drinker ah. at least they're not even red okay interesting i like so that's cool and i like the whole froth that can go on top of your cup that's pretty cool so that's exciting and you can cut out the froth so that'll be fun to do some masculine cards because I struggle with that um and so the next die I got I know I got a strange 
out of my comfort zone kind of dye. And this one's called Brushed Shapes Dye. Now, I'm going like, to package these up. Holy cow, I like these. Oh, I love them. So you can do, you know, a different brush strokes look. Be good for layering behind an image. Also for scrapbooking. So I, I, I really like that. I think that's kind of cool. So I'll have to create some fun. So I just wanted something different. To add some more, you know to the cards so that looks like loads of fun so we'll see how that goes so from stamping up uh, like I remember some of it I don't remember all that I got and it's literally stuck in there Goodness gracious, I can't even open. Like, my fingers are weak. Like, just typing at work is like an exercise for my fingers. However, they're still getting fat, so I don't know why. If they're working out. But the main reason why I wanted to shop at Cyber Fed is to pick up this. I picked one up earlier this year to test it out. To clean my stamps and I absolutely loved it it cleaned them so nicely and the smell oh my god it's amazing so and I've been using this one for years and it worked good don't get me wrong but this one is in my wheelhouse for smells I can't tell you what it smells like right now because I lost my sense of smell it's almost like an almondy vanilla flavor so but I just use this bottle now to, you know, why waste or get a new bottle. So, desperately needed that. And then, the one Christmas cards that I did on the three on the third, that required, ooh, where'd it go? These thin squared mounts which worked out amazingly. So I picked up a couple of those because I still have a couple of those um, images that I wanna stack and make Christmas cards out of. And I tried doing it with just regular uh, dimensional foam and I don't like it. So definitely the three, the thin 30D foam squares is the best. So pick up a couple of those. Then, I don't know what possessed me, but I had to. I picked up this Whimsy Stamps, which is my ultimate favorite stamp company. Um, it's called Octo Elements. And I've been waiting for this because every time I try to go get it, it's usually sold out. So, but I mean, the little clam kills me. Oh, they're just cute. And I can pair these images here with other, like my shark, uh, shark stamp set and such. And so I got that, plus I got the die, the matching die set. Um, even though I have the scan and cut, I figured the scan and cut would have issues trying to cut out some of these really tiny images. And me and the scan and cut are not talking right now. We got into a fight. So uh, we haven't broken up. We just, we're just not talking to each other right now. And then to go along with that, I had to get this set because I love the wood. And the little manhole, or not manhole, oh my god, what are those called? That's whatever, it's a hole. <laughs> Looking shark elements is what it's called. And I like the whole keep it, just keep swimming, way to finish. And the little bubbles are just adorable. So I got that, and I don't think I got the dice to go with it. I didn't, because I thought this one, I was like, okay, I can... I can probably wing it with my um, 
scan and cut. We'll see. Again, we're not talking to each other right now. And then I got this stamp set, which I just, oh my God, I love him. Look at him. He's so cute. I just desperately want to color him. This is called Dragon New York, New Year. And so it's like, uh, last year can kiss my holiday cheer, celebrate, good riddance, parte, happy new year, just saying when, um, make it a holiday cheer or celebrate or whatever, make it a great one. Um, do I need a reason? Nope. Um, so I'm super excited for this one. There's no die for that one. So fussy cut is. And then I got this one because I, <laughs> because I mean, he's just cute as hell. <laughs> uh, it's called Gobble This. Um, so, I mean, how can you not love that? Or just even that is funny. Um, this holiday can gobble this, gobble um, some bad wording, <laughs> censored, how's this for a drumstick? No leftovers. Um, that moment when you realize you're totally screwed. WTF. Uh, save me. <laughs> Censored. <laughs> These are so cute. Um, you know what you can do with your butter balls. <laughs> so I've got to send this to my cousins. Um, so anyways, there is a die that goes with this. I didn't pick up the die just because I figured <laughs> my scan and cut. But I mean, we'll see how that goes. But to go along with this, I did purchase their, um, what is it called? Stuff word die set. And so you can make, um, you can make words out of it, like stuffed, screwed. Um, there's some other words you can make out of it, but I just thought it would be fun to pair it with this. So I got that. And then I got this set from Nellie's Choice, or these little baby chicks. I have couldn't resist so I'm on, I'm on the hunt for this one now and this one every time I find them they're like sold out but I couldn't resist them they are so cute and since I am new to owning chicks I'm obsessed with anything chicken so anyways that's my haul um it'll probably be my last haul for the summer just because, you know, we're camping. We're trying to go outside as much as possible. Gardening, all that fun stuff. Taking care of chickens. But um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.